Hello. Well, today I kind of want to just take a bit of a break from what uh, I've been doing, which is uh, talking about horror movies this month, um, and talk a bit about a film I just saw last week, weekend. Um, that's the Joker, um, obviously, title and all, but I'll just say I liked this film. I thought it was a very good film. I didn't even say it was great. Um, still sort of processing the film. But it was very, it was a very well made film. Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck, the Joker. He's incredible. The rest of the supporting cast is incredible. Everybody does a fantastic job acting. And what I liked is, is it was a good, it was an interesting character study of how somebody, um, you know, somebody who's mentally ill in a place like Gotham City that is ignored and isn't getting help with their mental illness, how all of this can lead someone to become, you know, the Joker. Um, and... In, in, in previews, you see Thomas Wayne, and he's in the film. You see Bruce Wayne a little bit, and uh, the, mo the mom, Martha Wayne. So the Waynes are in here, and there's an interesting story with how Arthur Fleck and the Waynes all interconnect. I'm not going to spoil anything. You know, I don't want to spoil it because it's still new. At the time of this recording, it's like still like the, the uh, first weekend, and I was gonna be saying last weekend, but at this moment, it's still like like near <laughs> this weekend I saw it. But it's very interesting. It's interesting how all this goes, and it's and one thing is that's interesting is you don't know what's real in this film because as the film goes on, you sort of realize. Arthur is actually imagining certain things. He's imagining certain instances happening, and by the end of the film, you're really questioning what what just happened. And I sort of think that actually fits with the Joker, with the character of the Joker. And the ending is sort of interesting. I kind of think the very end has something to do with the beginning of the film. And I'm not going to say what that is, because that could possibly spoil or ruin the movie for people who haven't seen it yet, but it was really good. Now, this is a very dark film. It's rated R. There are some graphic moments, some disturbing moments. Some people get killed, and how they get killed is actually very realistic. Um, I remember hearing some stuff of people talking about how the reactions of the film and how some people were really just stunned by one of the deaths in the film, just of how completely realistic, you know, it was done. Like, it just didn't happen like how it would it would normally happen in movies. Like, it would just, like, uh, like how in some films, uh, like, this might happen. And I'm not, I'm describing it this way because... If I say how someone dies, you might be like, well, who dies like this when you see it? If you happen to see this and you like what I have to say and you watch it and you're like, and then as the movie goes on and then it happens, you might be like, oh, so-and-so. Oh, it's who's it's. It's what's their face. Like, they're going to die. And I'm like, I don't want to say how, it, but there was a moment that they, they get killed and it was so realistic that it's like, it's sort of just really dis just disturbing. I think that's another, that could be a good word for this. It's a very disturbing film because of how realistic it portrays someone in this situation. And honestly, it's like, you know, you don't, it's weird. The Joker is obviously a villain, but this is a film about him. And you feel bad for what's going on. But you can't sort of like help but understand why 
this is happening, like or like how things are going, you understand. But at the same time, it's sort of it's very conflicted. It's like mm, I don't know. It's a, it's just so. It's a very interesting film. I enjoyed it, but you know, perhaps this will not be your cup of tea. Um, if you're not really into dark films, if you're not into films that are really disturbing, and it's a, and it's a, it is a character study. It's a character study. It's a I think it's a very good character study of how about a possible origin story of the Joker because there's many you know origin stories with that character. Now there's a killing joke, and this doesn't necessarily follow that, but then there's been others, like, you know, Tim Burton's film had one, and this film has one. Um, so there's very, there's an interesting s origin story for the Joker. Obviously, The Dark Knight, we have no clue how, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker became who he was. It's a bunch of theories, though, some that are quite interesting, um, just to say the least. Um... And I just, I don't know, I just like it. Um, it's interesting to see how this could how this would like tie in, but, you know, Thomas Wayne is in this as along with Bruce Wayne, so obviously, like, Bruce Wayne's a kid in this film, obviously. But the Joker, at his age, I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I'm wondering, will this, will this Joker, Arthur Fleck, will he inspire the Joker that Batman will face? Because... If we look at this film, we take it as it is, and like he will be the Joker when Batman arrives. He'll be old. He'll be like in his sixties or so. I don't know how old Arthur Fleck is. Maybe in his thirties. Possibly like late twenties, maybe early thirties. I don't know. He's he's very you know. You know, Joaquin Phoenix is very thin in this film. Um, like I, I read he dropped 53 pounds, and you can really tell. Um, yeah, this is this is just an interesting. Event. It's a really good film. I like it, but there I can see why some wouldn't like it. Um, I get that. You know, I'm not like. I don't know how you can't like this movie. I mean, I mean, every movie is subjective, and not everyone's gonna like it, you know. But I like this film. Um, I, I, it was just, it was a very good film, and you know, I'm gonna have to probably. But I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the film. Uh, I might not ever <laughs> talk about this movie again unless I think on it see it again, or maybe when it comes out on Blu-ray and all that, and I rewatch it, then I might sort of, I could have different, I have a different thought on the film, but at this moment in time, I don't think so, I think I'll, I think when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll like it, I'll still like it, I think it's a good movie, you know, I think it actually could be great, um, I don't know what I would rate this, because I hate rating using a rating system like numbers but I could do like a thumbs up or down and I would definitely give it a thumbs up I don't really do reviews on any of it. I just talk about movies um, but yeah that's my thought on the film again I didn't go into too much detail because it's still a brand new film and I don't want to possibly spoil the movie for those who have not seen it um, that's just how I am with just brand new movies. I just I'm, I just don't want to do that. Um, hope you all get that. And if if not, I'm sorry. I really am. But um, if you're not happy with that, um, but hopefully you'll understand because like I don't want to ruin major plot points with the film. Um, but you know. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I just liked it. I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, so yeah, it's a standalone Joker 
film as of now. There won't be a sequel. You know, Joaquin Phoenix declined being Doctor Strange because he'd have to be in multiple MCU films, and he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be in multiple movies. He did this film because it was a one-and-done deal. Um, and the director, Todd Phillips, who made the Hangover films, he himself said, like, there's no plans to ever do a sequel. Um, now, if they ever did do a sequel, they would probably have to talk to Walking Phoenix. He's like, I can't see anyone else doing the Joker for this sort of thing. Unless they explain, like, this is the Joker that inspired that inspired the Joker that Batman faces, and Batman is in the movie also. That would be the only way I could actually see uh, that happen. Um, but it doesn't seem like they want to do any sequels, and that's that's perfectly fine. This is a fine standalone film. It doesn't need a sequel. But if there is a sequel, you know, there are certain people that have different theories of the ending and what this could mean, or how does this relate to that, and did that happen or didn't that not happen? And perhaps that could clear up some of the confusions that people have. Um, but the director definitely wanted um, the film to be um, have a lot of ambiguity to it at the end. You kind of aren't sure. And again, I think that fits the Joker very well. You don't really know what's real, what's not with the Joker. Um, so, yeah. I think that's really all I have to say. Um, though there is an Oscar talk, you know, an Academy Award nomination for Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I do think he could get a nomination. I don't know if he could win, or if he would win. I know he said some comments in the past, not too kindly, about the Academy, and like how they do things with the awards. Um, like Keith said, it was like a, it was like a, it seemed to equate it to like a horse race or so, or something with carrots. It's like the worst tasting carrot because he's like chased after it, like a, not necessarily a horse race, but like he, that's like a carrot chase after he thought of it as that. <clears throat> and it's the worst tasting carrot he's like tastes like you got a little taste of it and now you want the rest of it? Well, you gotta do what you can to get it and you had it taste of it two times and this was for got nominated for like the, the master up to that. He just wasn't fond of that. Like I guess the way they vote and how they um, do um, I guess you kind of have to like go and put yourself out there and do interviews and talk to academy voters and stuff and try and I guess do stuff in order to get an Academy Award. I guess the way they do things, he didn't like. And doesn't want to be a part of that anymore. Though he later did um, um, apologize after making those comments. Um, the Academy may, might not forgive him. They might have a grudge against him for saying that that one time. I'm not saying they definitely will. Though I, I haven't said that. I have the most kindest words for the Academy, but that's because some of the decisions they've made, I feel, are kind of dumb. Um, like, in terms of winners, it's like, really? They won? Or that film won? Anyway. Um, also, uh, there's others. Oscar. Or other films that have Oscar buzz, so... I'd have to see some of those to see who I would like to see nominated and who I'd like to see win amongst the, those nominees. Um, but, yeah, that, that's that's that. <laughs> so, you know, that's really all I have to say. I just wanted to finish with that because 
I just wanted to put that out there with the whole Oscar buzz thing. So I'm thinking he will win, or he has to win, or he needs to be nominated. I don't know about that. I would like to see him at least get nominated. Um, if he did win, it would be kind of cool to see, but don't know. I don't know if he would, he would be able to win. won't say he can't, but I don't know. Just because of some of the past comments and, and the apology didn't suffice, the Academy. I don't know. I'm not part of it. I don't think I'd want to be. So there is all that. Um, I hope you all found this uh, me this discussion of Joker uh, be helpful or to be good in any way. Um, I hope you all have a good day. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And I'll see you all next time.